So here's another uh, Keeping It Handy organizer I've got started. Um, again, using some different fabrics. I think these are adorable, and they're right here at the store at Neal's if, if you would like this fabric. So I, we've got our front pockets with the pin cushion down here. Our Velcro is in place down here. And here's our back pockets. We flip it over to the back side. Um, my main fabric now has my Velcro attached up here. Remember, this, these are on opposite ends. So Velcro up here and Velcro down here. Very important you keep those on opposite ends um, of, of the, the pieces. What you're going to do is to lay these wrong sides together and you're going to baste, I've already done this, stitch around three sides, the two short sides and one long side. We're going to leave these sides open to insert our cardboard. Before we do that, we need to now stitch on our markings that we did at the very beginning. Remember we had a three inch line, the 11 and the 19. So now we're going to stitch on our three inch line and I did a stitch in the ditch as close as I could and I did it under the pin cushion and across. It gets a little wonky under there, it's okay, nobody's gonna see it. Then we're gonna stitch here on the 11. Now that's going to be uh, the very top edge when we go to fold this in half and then we're going to do a stitch in the ditch here under this pocket piece as well. This is going to make our fold lines. Um, so uh, this, that's where they'll be folded under. But we've now created our pockets. Our cardboard is already cut to the correct sizes. And a little hint, uh, when cutting cardboard, I like to use a rotary cutter that's designed for use on paper or Put an old blade back into your rotary cutter that doesn't cut fabric anymore and use that to cut your cardboard. It works very, very slick. Um, a lot easier than trying to do um, utility knives and things like that. So take the cardboard and the two larger pieces are going to slide into our center pockets. Now these are designed, they're cut a little bit smaller then the width so that we're not stitching over the cardboard when we do sew this together, um, but they'll be able to move. Um, you can slide them back and forth when you are going past those on the sewing machine. So it takes a little bit of manipulation. So our smaller piece is gonna go here. This is going to be the base of this when it is um, sitting up. So now you can see how this one is gonna go together. That's adorable, don't you? And we're going to unfold it. At this point, you're then going to go ahead and stitch this shut. Now we've got it almost done. One thing left to do, and that is to add our elastic before we go any farther. And the elastic is going to go on the outside. We're just going to pin this in place and you're going to do it one inch up from the bottom or up one inch up from your pin cushion. So it's going to go on this side and you could go ahead and base those in place. Make sure it's not twisted and base those in place and that's ready to go. So let's imagine that's there. And all that's left is to put on your binding. Now a little trick I like to do with my binding is I'm going to go ahead and measure the outside. So these were 25 and a half by 12 and a half. That adds up to 76 inches all the way around. I added two and a half inches. So I need 78 and a half. And I cut that a little short at about 78 and 3 eighths, something like that. And then I go ahead and, and stitch my binding. I've got my seam already stitched. My binding is ready to go and I like to machine stitch the binding on both ways. So my first round, I am going to apply my binding on the back side, just as you would a quilt. Remember as you're stitching, you can push that um, cardboard off to the side and stitch across. And then when you get to the other side, go ahead and push it back the other way. It's, it's a little movable. You can, you can manipulate that in there. Go ahead and stitch that all the way around. Then you're going to flip it around, press it, and you can machine stitch it down on the front. If you're not one for machine stitching, go ahead, hand stitch it, 
do what you feel comfortable doing with that at that point. Um, but when you're done, that's, you get that binding done, it is done, it's ready to go and ready to use. Except, I forgot, we need to add our filling for our pin cushion. This is where you want to put that in there now. I like to use crushed nut shells and a little funnel will work really well. This will slide right into that uh, opening that we have. I hope you can see that okay. Slides right in there. Using another container, I can, you can see what I've had for lunch. Um, you can fill that up and keep packing it down in there and then just some hand stitches to close that up. You are now complete. This is uh, a pattern I hope you enjoy and if you are interested in it, uh, please contact us right here at Neil's and we'll get that to you.